Nearly six years after KRQE News 13 introduced you to a mystery in northern New Mexico surrounding carved stone pillars, we may finally have some idea about where they're from and exactly who put them there. Two researchers, including one known for his investigations on the History Channel, came to Albuquerque this week to look into it. News 13's Annalisa Pardo has the story. But I will say this, it is truly a mystery. A mystery. New Mexico native Louis Cerna has been trying to get to the bottom two since even before KRQE talked to him back in 2017. Why is this there? Why would they come here you know, well, hundreds of years ago when there was nobody here? Why would they do that with all this message beyond here? Two stone pillars found in northern New Mexico with symbols carved in them. One now sits in the historic St. James Hotel in Cimarron, the other in a cemetery in the Carson National Forest. You know, at first appearance, it looks like a monument, um, maybe a, a gravestone. But what's unique about it is it's got just um, strange symbols. The monuments catching the eye of forensic geologist and former History and Travel Channel host of America Unearthed, Scott Walter, and researcher and author Haley A. Ramsey. After years of trying to make it to New Mexico to chat with Cerna, this week they did. It would appear to me that there were likely two different carvers and mm -hmm. the stones were carved at two different times. My gut feeling is it isn't 500, more than 500 years old. I think it's 500 or less. I'm just spitball in here, um, but it's definitely an enlightened tradition that understood the language of symbolism. Like the eight-pointed star on the top of the second pillar. The morning star has been an important symbol because it does represent Venus for thousands of years. If you go back to ancient Egypt, Sumeria, Mesopotamia, you find that is associated with the mother goddess. Venus is always associated with that star. The Templars used it to navigate, as did a lot of ancient cultures. Also noting the carved letter M. That symbol was a very ancient symbol of the goddess, of the birth giver, because the letter M is the symbol of a woman with her knees up in the birth giving position. Walter and Ramsey think the symbols could have communicated something like a meeting point or directions. Today, they could reveal who the first foreign settlers in New Mexico really were, long before the Spanish in the 1500s. It's taken a while for this paradigm to, to change. and. I think what's, what things like this do is open up possibilities that there were a lot of people that came here long before, you know, 1492. Why were all these ancient people coming here? That is what makes the stone important and that is why it's still relevant today. But ultimately, it's still a mystery. There's a reason there that treasure. that thing is there. It's trying to get to the bottom of it. That's the difficult part, but we'll do the best we can. I'm, I'm intrigued by this thing, so yeah. once I sort of get my hooks into something, yeah. I don't let go too fast. Annalisa Pardo, KRQE, News 13. Walter and Ramsey hope to come back and examine the stones in person. They'd also like to look into taking samples to see if the stones are local or originate from somewhere else.